multiplication and addition will be linking together, okay? So the focus question is how is the distributive property used to create equivalent expressions? How is finding the area of a rectangle related to the, the distributive property? <coughs> so um, I'm going to scroll up. So we have been talking about the key vocabularies. So I want to start with the key vocabularies because one thing about math is before you can learn to do worth of problems, you have to learn the vocabularies and you also have to learn the formula, okay? So you may complete a math lesson, but if you don't understand the vocabulary terms or the formula, you would have a hard time doing math. So we have talked about the distributive property. We had so two, three of the um, vocabularies that I want to talk about today. We have learned in class. One of them was numerical expression, equivalent expressions, and the other one name is conjecture. Conjecture. And I will have someone to read that in one minute. But I'm going to start off here first. So numerical expressions will include 12 equal to, in parentheses, you have 5 plus 1. So if you notice, the expression is 2 times 5, which is 10, plus, um, you know, no, no, I'm doing that. Let me get my marker. I have, let me see. Here, I can use this. So, so you have 2 times that, and you have 2 times right here, right? So it's, so it's two, give me two times five, which is 10. Plus two times one, which is two. So 10 plus two is 12, and then you have 12 right here, so it equals 12. So that this is the numerical expression. The equivalent expression is, you have a total of 12 right here. So they are telling you, they are going to give you all the, all the, all of the numerical expressions that's going to be equivalent to 12. So for example, what's 2 times 6? 12. What's 10 plus 2? 12. 12. What's 5 plus 7? 12. What's 3 plus 4? 7. Plus 5? 12. It's 12. And then now over here you have 2 times 5 is what? 10. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, you get it? Yep. Okay. Can I have someone to read the definition that talks about the con conjecture? A conjecture is your best guess about an observed pattern or relationship. You can use models, drawings, or other kinds of evidence to support your conjecture. Okay, so up here, this right here is a symbol, it's a model. Anytime you use a model to express your answer, this is called conjecture. For example, I have all these boxes here, so it looks like a graph. But look at this. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have, and then I have, I have a column. And then I have one, two, three, four. So you have five, like five boxes. And then here you have one, two, three, four. Okay? And I'm explaining what that is. Over here, I have a total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This simply means five in parentheses times four, which is one, two, three, four times four, plus, so here, here's my, here's my, um, my, my divider, plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you understand, understand that so far? Yes. Okay, so watch this. Now I'll put it together. So I put four here, and I put seven there. So now, so, so you, do you know what that means? It, this is what it means. So, so remember now, distributive is multiplication that links with addition, okay? So five in parentheses times four plus seven. So if you notice, you notice, so look, look how you have in parentheses four plus seven. Now here I have another way of 
do it. Five times four plus five times seven. Okay? So, can someone tell me? Um, so, if I, if I total this up, what, so what is five times four, somebody? 20. 20. Plus. Okay. 